Hi and welcome back to our channel. I don't know what about in your country, but here in Germany, all the Christmas markets stay closed this year. In this case, we are forced to celebrate the Christmas market time at home. But I've got a good news for you. This will be the first video of three about how to celebrate the Christmas market time at home. Obviously with all traditional drinks and food recipes. This week we're gonna focus on the Christmas market drinks and I have decided to leave out the obvious ones, so the malt wine. And in this video I will show you my six favorite Christmas market drinks apart from the mild wine. Because let's be honest, mild wine recipe in English for you to find is very easy. And yes, you hear me right, this video is going to be a little bit different um, to my other videos in which I usually only inspire. In this video, I am actually going to give you the actual recipes and the link to those you're going to find in the description box down below. ago I filmed a video about 35 German Christmas market drinks that you can try at the Frankfurt Christmas market. So I've done all the research and two years later, so this year, I'm going to show you how to make my favorite ones. So without further ado, let's just start. I'm going to start this video with Feuertangenbohle, which is a red wine with a rum and sugar. It is traditional German alcoholic drink for which a rum-soaked sugar loaf is set on fire and drips into malt wine. At Christmas market, Feuertangenbohle is prepared in a bowl similar to fondue set. At home, we prepare it in those cups with a metal grate mounted on the top of the bowl or mug where you place the sugar loaf. Feuerzang Bowler recipe is very straightforward. So first what you're gonna need is the red malt wine, rum, and you need to make sure that the rum uh, has at least uh, 54% and it's room temperature to make sure that it actually burn sugar loaf as well as orange and lemon. But those two are only optional and only for decoration. To make Feuerzangenbohle, first you're gonna need to warm up the red malt wine and then fill the mug with it. Then I'm adding one quarter of the slice of an orange, sugar loaf on the top of the metal grate. Then you can pour the rum all over the sugar loaf. And by the way, we are using straw and at last you set it on fire. And now you can enjoy the beautiful view of the sugar loaf uh, caramelizing, melting slowly and dropping into the red malt wine. The next drink that I've chosen to show you, it's called Eierpunsch and you can translate it to the German Eggnog. I have heard from many people that here in Germany we prepare it differently than overseas. To make German Eggnog you need Advocat, white wine, valenin sugar, rum, as well as whipped cream. First, you need to mix together the Advocat and the white wine, and then you can warm it up very slowly. Remember, when warming up uh, alcoholic drinks, the temperature has to stay under 80 degrees Celsius. If you like your drink on the sweetened note, you can now add the vanillin sugar. Then fill the glass with the warm drink as well as add rum. And as soon as the drink is ready to serve, you can also add the cream. German eggnog is Christmas market staple and I need to have it at least once every year at the Christmas market. The next drink that I would love to share with you, it's called Schneemann and it's one of my favorite drinks. The drink is pretty straightforward and contains three layers. To make this wonderful looking drink, you're going to need a red malt wine, cherry liquor, advocat and whipped cream. When you would like to prepare it, you need to uh, preheat the malt wine, add the cherry liquor, 
some people add instead of cherry liquor, amaretto. And fill the glass with it. Next, you're gonna pour very slowly the Advocat. And because Advocat is heavier in the consistency, it's gonna go at the bottom of the drink. And as soon as you are done with it, you can uh, decorate it with a bit of whipped cream. And that's how spectacular this drink looks like when it's ready. The next drink that I really need to mention is called Lumumba or Tote Tante, which you actually translate to Dead Auntie, which is obviously a crazy name for a drink. But anyway, it consists of milk, rum or amaretto, cocoa or Nesquik, whipped cream and a little bit of chocolate on the top. To prepare this drink, the first thing what you can do is just make a normal hot chocolate, then turn off the heat and add rum or amaretto. Then you can fill the glass with it, decorate it with a whipped cream and also shredded chocolate. And now we're gonna move on to the heiße or blonde Engel, which is advocat that is mixed with orange juice. So to make this drink, obviously, you're gonna need an orange juice, advocat, whipped cream and also cinnamon for decoration. To prepare this drink, you're gonna need to start by warming up the orange juice. As soon as the orange juice is hot, you can fill the glass with it. And then you need to add very slowly the Advocat. And at the end, you can add the whipped cream as well as cinnamon. And the last drink that I would love to show you in this video is called Himba Punch. And this one is on a very sweet note. To make it, you need a glass of water as well as a raspberry tea bag rum, raspberry syrup, as well as brown sugar if needed, a bit of fresh lemon juice and fresh raspberries. If you would like to make this drink, first you need to start with uh, warming up uh, the water and making the raspberry tea. Then you can add a sugar and a bit of lemon juice, switch off the heat and add the rum, and at this point your drink is ready to be served. You can also pour it into a beautiful mug and decorate it with a fresh raspberries. And as mentioned at the beginning, this drink is extremely sweet, so you can also leave out the sugar or syrup if you don't like it this sweet. Thank you very much for watching this video. Once again, I want to let you know that um, there will be links in the description box down below to all the recipes that I've showed you today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you all happy week. And next week, we're gonna start with a real deal. So with a street food. Take care and I see you on my next one. Bye.